Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create multiple levels on the line chart like this. So this is having a sales trend with profit information and with the color coding we are clearly showing that sales trend is highlighted with this red color with profit information is highlighted with the blue color so that people can interpret this information very easily. So generally you are able to do it only one or uh, you are able to show only one uh, label but here I will show you how you can show two labels right which is very helpful in this scenario. So uh, if uh, you want to get that I will show you in a minute and if you want to grab this workbook that the how to get this workbook is detailed given in the description. Along with that uh, if you are looking for the data set that uh, I am using then what you can do is uh, based on the link that I have given you can come to my data set folder in that I have the data set sheet in this sheet which is this particular sheet uh, you have the sample superstore data set which I am using for the uh, scenario okay so you can download and follow along with me also uh, if you want to uh, get a hand on all my 300 plus videos that I have published for power bi for an easy to search manner then you can grab this workbook uh, for this also the details in the description so it has the title it has the video link topic category and difficulty levels just so that it is easy for you to use okay so back to power bi all right so this is what i created but let me just show you how you can uh, get it so for that i will move on to my this workbook which so the data set which i showed you is having the order sheet so what i'm going to do is i'll create a chart based on the order date so it will bring all the hierarchy i will going to remove the day and month and then i will going to bring on the sales what it produces basically the sales information and then what i'll go do is go down to next levels to show the quarterly information now i need to bring in the labels so what i can do is i can enable the data labels so this is enabled for sales right so i can go down and i can basically say okay value uh, the color of value i want to give it red like this one sort of orangish red and uh, what i really like is i also bold it so same location i will bold it so that it is clearly visible on the general title i will say sales trend and this one also i will going to get a red color so that it is color coded properly and I will make a little bit higher big uh, number right so sales trend so once we have this now the part is where can I go and put the second label so for that if I uncheck that um, over here in the data labels sorry I'm trying to come down yes the details section right so what I'll do is I will enable the details section and uh, what I can do is I can bring profit over here and as I bring profit over here profit is now displayed over here as a detail right and uh, what I can do is I can put it in thousand right and uh, decimal values I can make it zero same way uh, over here if I want I can put it in thousand and decimal values I will put it zero so that way it is proper it will be properly displayed right now the last thing i want to do is uh, for the sum of profit i want to make sure that it is uh, darkish blue like this and it is bold right so over here we have this sum of profit uh, i'll just increase the size uh, i do not have the bold option as you can see but what i can do is i can take this particular bold to make it bold even though the option is not here but i can still make it bold and nine color nine okay so with that i can then go over here now the thing is i need the second um, profit information right so over here we have something called as within the title we have something called as subtitle i enable the subtitle and i will say with profit trend right and uh, then we can do is we can make it 12 and let's make it this color make it bold yep so that way the information is clearly visible 
So that way, uh, I want to show you this. This is the way I, I figured uh, to show when I have to show two different labels on this chart, right? So that way, I can give the entire information to my user. So that's what I wanted to show you with that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.